this collector on the corner. I've been to auction day, Labor yeah. Day sale. Yeah, I can tell you. And fifth year's accumulation, they said. And I've got some stuff pretty old. There's some Diana Lube Sunoco oil in the can. And there's some MP Sunoco MP Plus. And there's some disc brake wheel bearing grease. And here's some brake lube luber plate. I got about all oh, six or eight cans of that. I got three cans of Valvoline Ford Type F transmission oh, fluid. That's not oil. I got an empty can of snow cold transmitted fluid. You have to hold it still, doll. Got some ball joints to fit something. <laughs> got a brand new set of AC44 spark plugs. Now, then we'll work on my pitch five shivers. Oh, cool. Yep. Uh, Got a brand new oil filler cap. That'll work on my P5 Chevy. Ooh. There's a... And here's a real old geezer. Yeah, a real old geezer. Here's a, <laughs> here's a brand new distributor cap for a Ford. But oh. it's got dirt dauber yeah, nest in it. Yeah, it comes with but dirt dauber. And here's something that I was actually needing the other day. Yeah. That's a brand new set of Delco points. They hold it still. They, they still got the lubricate plate stuff on them. Wow. But that's a brand new set of points. Save They'll that fit real them fast Delco a distributors. Of times. <laughs> and this says it's International Harvester Park. <laughs> I don't know what it is, even. Ain't looked. It's rotor. Ah, Looks like a Ford rotor, rotor to me. <laughs> got a deal full of. Outboard motor lower unit. Oh, blue. yeah, we really need that. Some kind of funky old carburetor. Yeah. See, it's choked. It ain't locked up or nothing. Wow. Got an adjustment down here on the bottom. Talking about a little black wow. carburetor. I don't know what it fits. <laughs> There's filter. To Looks like that still. was a Chevrolet. It's got all them there holes. That's a in Wizard, it. Western Auto. It's got too many holes Plastic in it. Your oil will leak out. Saw. De icer and all of those some <laughs> battery acid and acid. This is what he's most stuff. proud of his chainsaws. Rust master enamel. Oh. Oh cool. Are I got you? some brand new air hose, heavy duty. Uh-huh. Air hose. Two rolls. And I think that's cute. I'll use that in the in the kitchen. <laughs> I got this cute little welder. It's a one ten bolt Marquette. Uh huh. Cool. It's got low, medium, high. Uh huh. And there's a little work lead, and I got bone leads to it. Cool. Bone leads to it. Cool. It's got one of them filing guides that you can put on your bar to accurately file your chainsaw out the field. Uh huh. I got one of them mostly plastic home light saws. Don't know nothing about it. It's got a little compression. Uh huh. Got one of them little home light super easies and yeah, it looks like yeah. it. Just cut that rope off if it's yeah, in the I way. Know. Yeah, I had one like this and used it for a while. I think I <laughs> traded it off for a big chunk of metal or something I wanted from my head. <laughs> but well, I went to the sale today for. It. Yes, what did I you go? I didn't know it was there. Why did you go to the sale for but today this is for, what honey? I went for? Right here. He went for this home light. That's a home light. Mm -hmm. It looks it. real similar to XL as well. Uh -huh. It says Super X, it says XL 100 on it. Uh huh. I see it. But if you look around this side, wow. it's got a saw blade. Wow. It's a skill saw. Wow. I've seen them in pictures, never seen one in real life. It I seems hear, like it got compression. I hear it. I anyway, I intend to get this running. Cool. I believe I, I have good luck with Homeline XL 12s and stuff, so I believe I'll be able to get this running. So not only are you going to be chainsawing, you're going to be skill sawing. There's an old boy. Yeah, there's an old boy on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I think surviving ringworm or something. He gets out there and he chainsaw mills up plumbers. 
Then when it gets done that, he edges it with a skill saw that's a battery powered skill saw. Mm -hmm. If he had something like this, he'd be he'd be really getting it. That that would do the job. It'd be the berries for him, wouldn't it? So I want to tell a little story from when I was a kid. Okay, what happened when you was a kid, doll? When I was a kid, you'd go to the gas station. Uh huh. Two or three guys would jump out there and they'd be putting, pumping your gas and checking air your cars. And hey, my the dad had a gas station. And they'd raise a hood <laughs> and they'd come around there and they'd tell you, walk around to the driver's side and they'd hold you and show you a quart of oil. Mm -hmm. you tell them to go get a quart of oil. And uh -huh. they'd have that oil sitting out on the oil rack out in front of the gas station. Uh -huh. Like this, this transmission blew. But it was sitting like this. Mm -hmm. This up. Mm -hmm. And they'd come by and they'd pour it up. They'd stick this deal right here down the top mm -hmm. of that can. They'd pour that quart of oil in there and they'd check you all and show you spoke. Uh -huh. But what you didn't know they was doing, <laughs> that can had already been punctured once before. <laughs> that was the empty can out there in that rack out there by the pump. They pulled that dipstick up and shorted it. And showed you use a quart of oil, and they showed you empty quart of oil. <laughs> and it was a common practice. A lot of guys they couldn't fool. They, well, my, they, knew, they knew exactly how many miles every vehicle went for it, drank a quart of oil, how much oil it burned. <laughs> oh, they show them dipstick short, they'd jump out of that car and get up there and check their oil themselves, you know. But that was a common trick at, the, at gas stations back. In the 50s and 60s, mm -hmm. when they had these kind of cans. Yep. Of course, they can't do that trick nowadays. Because you got these kind of yep. oil cans. Yep. I guess they could pour empty one of them in there too, you know. Yeah. But you don't have gas, self, full service gas stations anymore. But I won't tell you who I first seen do that trick. <laughs> All right, mister. Her dad's gone, but I still ain't going to tell you. <laughs> anyway. Okay. I bought more. I know you bought more. I can see the yard. We got a little belt. Got a little cool belt. doggy house. Uh-huh. A couple of boomers that ain't worth much. Uh-huh. Or one of them little pipe clamps. Uh-huh. Here's a whole bunch of body tools and stuff goes on porter power. A whole box full of that kind wow. of stuff. There's wow. all kinds of stuff in there. There's one more little boomer in here. Wow. One I've seen in here I thought might be kind of handy. Shoot the dog. That's here. all cool stuff. That's what they used to call slapper. Well, you ain't using it on me. <laughs> No, but you might hit me in the head and put another knot. Oh, Dad Gummit, you know I did never did hit you. Bye bye, somebody made. Yep. The coach, Iron Tireman, power machine, circa about 1950. Mm -hmm. Seen better days, pretty rusty. There's a part that goes to it, too. There's mm -hmm. the part that you put over there and you'll walk around. Oh. But anyway. Well. Put a little oil on that and clean on it a little bit, and that thing would free up, and you could break your cars down with that if you didn't take them off the rim. Yep. And this thing's cool. Here's an antique. It looks it. Myers water pump. Cool. I don't know if anybody knows about Myers, but Myers Dang, was that a big looks name like in the a, pump back then. That almost looks like a, a, a they was, Singer they were, sewing machine motor. Yeah, that's a, that's an antique motor. Yeah, that's I'm cool. I'm going to say that the motor's got a blast plate on I can't read what it says. Mm -hmm. But there's a motor right there, a little blast yeah, ID I plate. See it. I but see that it. motor's probably 100 years old. Pretty cool. I there's bet another it, one. I bet it's full of dirt daubers. There's another one of air powered grease guns. Cool. It was in the barn, not looking too good and healthy. But. So you brought it home. You well, give it a home. I got this bucket here, got a whole bunch of staples in it. Yeah, staples. I see it. Oh, you dropped one. Ah, yeah. I'll run over that. There's three of them. <laughs> right, there's some more right here. Oh, jeepers. Cool. I'll, I'll probably use them staples. Cool. 
I got this pipe. I see it. That's a bucket of tar. Uh, I see it. We I need... need this mirror for my truck. One on the driver's side. My grandkids took a hammer and busted it out. No, our darlings wouldn't do so that. I might put that on the side of this little truck here. <laughs> oh boy! What'd you get? Flat tire ceiling. Cool. Tire sealer. Power cool. slurm. And I see some of your tar that uh, leaked. Up in the back of the truck. Not that. That's my spare. But them two tractor cars, three tractor cars. Mm -hmm, the I see them. Cool. There's an auger up underneath there. That's oh, part of a five dollar three point post hole digger I bought. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. The boy want two of these little dog boxes. Yeah, I see the little dog boxes. Oh boy, you I got, got some treasures here. over here. And all these other tires. And uh -huh. Right there. There's, that's mine on eight hole wheels. Here's two more eight hole wheels. And here's another old car. Mm -hmm. That's a P195 75 D14. JCPenney. <laughs> on a Ford rim, it's a JCPenney. Cool. <laughs> I don't know who made that. It says it's a sure track. Yeah, sure track. It's a 13, I'm sure. Yeah. Cool. P180 something 13. I got two sets of these little bogey wheels. Yeah, I see that. I got a little air in them. And I see your traps. Them's the same type rims, same size tires and rims that goes on my record dollies. Uh huh. I know. And there's another one there. Got this trap and that trap. Mm hmm. I see. That's a have a heart. I don't know who made this one, but this is brand new and never been used. That and there's got a little age on it, but it's in good shape. Mm -hmm. Got three sickle bars. I imagine them came out of that New Holland hay bind they sold up there. Wow. Two old hydraulic jacks, two pairs of loppers, a pit, a bow saw. And a generator. Bunch of fence posts. Bunch mm -hmm. of fence posts. I bought this generator for 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you go to sales or whoever was there, they don't know nothing because the guy died. Yeah. Know? Yep. But that generator, I bought for 50 bucks. And I well, you need to go to the sales before they die. There's another old car rim. This toolbox here. Yeah. Got a bunch of old rings in it. All right. Sometimes I use stuff like that. Sometimes I don't. Mm -hmm. This in here, this brings me back when I was a real young man. These brass screws like Collection this. Collection of crap. Them's to hold the asbestos brake shoes on semi truck brake shoes. Ah. You, you bolt them off with them brass fine thread, mm -hmm. brass countersunk screws. That's mm -hmm. what's in there. Wow. Is that all of your treasures? No, I got to make another trip tomorrow. <laughs> it won't all yes, I'm up. crying, people. <laughs> yep. But anyway, <laughs> I'm mostly tickled with my little home light <laughs> chainsaw. Mm. That's, that's what I went to that sale for. I didn't know what you there, didn't, that's what I went You to didn't buy. tell me you went for that. There's a tape measure, but... <laughs> The tape's done got sucked up inside of it. I don't think anybody ever used that. Nope. One of them buckets of tar went to leaking. I know. I done told them. The grandkids done played it. Ah, uh, yeah. I know. Oh, I think we got left. Okay, what we got left? We got this bug shield. Oh, yeah. Look here. I know. I'm just busy oh. looking at your... See the bug shield? Oh, cool. I might put that on front of my old I truck. I thought we put it on the 55. We're going to be going nah, so fast. We got to keep bugs, bugs off of us. Got one of them cyclone cedars, but the bag ain't too good. Yeah, I think your seeds are going to fall out, uh, uh, darling. Well, it worked a while ago, but the handle's going off. My kids was playing with <laughs> oh, it. Right there. Would you believe? No, Give I would not. Uh, what urchins? 
wonderful grandkids. Them scallywags of ours. <laughs> oh, boy. Debbie might take her blue jeans. Okay, what did the scallywags of ours do? What? What did our scallywags do? Well, they unscrewed the handle. Oh, that. that's nothing. I know. Don't know. The other, anyway. the other day they were playing in gas and wanting to wanting some matches. <laughs> I don't know. Needs a good taking apart and cleaning up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Your flat guard done come down, fall down off. <laughs> well, what's go, it's going to need cleaning up, and it'll need a kit and a carburetor and new fuel line. Mm hmm. Probably take it apart and put new crankshaft seals in it. But the cylinder and piston might be good. Hard to say about it. But you want to make sure you clean all these up real good. That old boy Leon's chainsaws. He can take one of these home lights apart with his eyes closed. I'm he sells sure the parts he, for them, too, if I'm you need sure something. He can. I can take them apart and fix them. I ain't good to some people, but I, I can... Manage to get them going every once in a while. Mm -hmm. But sure can. I guess that's it. This will be auction video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing the more junk the guy drags into his <laughs> hoard. You know, that's how you get to be a hoarder. You, you like all kinds of stuff. And you buy it thinking you'll do something with it. And 20 years later, yeah. you know, I was going to do something <laughs> with that. <laughs> so goodbye and good luck to goodbye. you. Like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.